Do you think she'll like it? It's in a not a full state, Stephen. I don't It'll think It'll be an so. adventure. It'll mean putting down roots here, maybe a family. Are you sure she wants children? What, to stay here? It's not her place, you know. Don't start that again, please. I mean, she's ambitious, love, and she's, well, older. She's not going to want to stay cooped up at home looking after the kids. Is that how you felt about me? Oh, stop it, Stephen. That's not what I meant, and you know it. I'm just saying you should make a choice. If it's a family you want, well, you know how much Lizzie wants a family. Jesus, Mum, I didn't come here for marriage guidance. I just asked what you thought about a fucking house. Stephen Appleton language! Sorry, it's just that you have to understand, Kate is the most brilliant, extraordinary, wonderful person I've ever known. She's... she's like no one else. The way she looks at things. It's like she has whole worlds inside her head. I don't think you or anyone really understands that. When I was a kid, my dad found a fox. It had been hit by a car and couldn't walk anymore. My mum went spare, of course. Made him keep it in the shed. He was already slipping away from us then. He spent hours with that fox, telling it all about Italy and the villages they bombed there. I was... I was jealous, I think. The fox got more of my dad than I did. But it was dying, that was clear. So one day, I snuck out, took it a sandwich for food. I was only eight. When it bit me, I remember the anger, the shock, the hurt. Running in, screaming from the garden, my mum panicking about rabies. My dad beat it to death with a spade. I found him crying. It done a Ken, son. That's what he said. It done a Ken, it was hurting you. That's just a poor, dumb, dying animal. It doesn't know it's hurting us. Christ help us, it's left the valley. It's everywhere now. It's been three hours since the planes went over. I haven't been able to reach anyone on the shortwave. I'm beginning to think I may have made a terrible miscalculation. <laughs> 